Hello and welcome to the presentation on protein and weight management for Jane and optimal nutrition for a better quality of life. In this presentation, it is the goal of the presenter to help you become more knowledgeable about nutrition and food. It is an essential part of preventing many different diseases that are chronic and most commonly caused by food and lifestyle. Intake of sodium at every meal was found to be a concern of the nutrition assessment for Jane. Her current lab values showed that she had high serum sodium, potassium was in normal limits, her cholesterol was within normal limits, her HDL was low, and her LDL was high, and her triglycerides were within normal limits. Jane has a family history of obesity, hyperlipidemia, and type 2 diabetes from her mother and father jointly. She lives at home with her family and her two parents. Sometimes the family has concerns with running out of food and may have problems obtaining food due to lack of income or running out of money. Jane's parents do most of the purchases for food and Jane commonly eats food at the school cafeteria for breakfast and lunch. Jane has individual protein and requirements that are necessary to overall health and nutrition status. So how much protein does she need in a day? Most people need 0.8 grams per kilogram per day of body weight for healthy body weight maintenance and overall healthy metabolism. Research has shown, however, that increasing in protein intake per day can help you weigh less. So if you weigh 71 kilograms, as Jane, our subject of interest, does, and you are interested in losing weight, a good recommendation for this would be 1.1 grams per kilogram per day, and this would be sufficient. So calculating that amount would be 71 by 1.1, and that would equate to 88 grams of protein per day. So 88 grams of protein per day is the known recommendation for protein needs. So what next? It is important to eat accurately the same amount of protein at each meal as possible. 88 grams per day divided by 3 meals per day equates to approximately 29 grams of protein per meal per day. And research shows those who ate the same amount of protein at every meal were more satisfied with their meals maintain their weight better, maintain their muscle better, and even it helped in their metabolism overall and helped them in gaining muscle mass. So for physical activity, there aren't any related recommendations for protein and weight management However, for overall health and weight management, it is important that you include exercise and physical activity in your day-to-day -day lifestyle in order to reach your weight-related goals. So 30 minutes of exercise is the recommended amount, and it can include anything from walking, running, dancing, or sport-related activities that increase your heart rate. Of course, increasing your physical activity helps you to burn more calories and keeps your energy levels up. This will also help you in wanting to continue exercising in the future. Physical activity has also shown to help you burn body fat that may assist you also in your weight management goals. For the meal plan that was prepared, some of the main points included 
increasing fiber intake with nutrient-dense fruits and vegetables and other whole grains, decreasing fatty foods such as whole milk, pork, and whole eggs. And some of these foods, such as whole milk, could be substituted with skim milk, pork could be substituted with turkey, turkey sausage, or what have you, and whole eggs could include part of the yolks removed or egg whites overall for the decrease in cholesterol and fat intake from the egg yolks. Increasing lean protein options at every meal. Of course, egg whites would be a great example of lean protein as well as turkey, turkey sausage, or chicken breast. And it's important, and research has also shown, that eating a consistent amount of protein at every meal, and your recommended amount is 29 grams per meal, can help you in body weight reduction and muscle mass maintenance and the making of muscle mass overall. So some visuals and some options for you in choosing your meal plan and food outside of the meal plan that was provided. These options include roasted asparagus, lean sliced ham, and whipped sweet potatoes as one meal. Another meal could include a salad that contains food items such as sauteed chicken, mushrooms, onions, kale, cauliflower, and romaine lettuce, and then making your own homemade dressing. And then the final option as well that could be added to your meal plan includes sauteed onions and peppers, cooked kale and cherry tomatoes, and steamed carrots with a honey glaze, and sauteed chicken breast. Of course, these are high protein options that would certainly meet your requirements for the 29 grams of protein at every meal. And how can these recommendations be brought to fruition? How can you actually access this food if you don't have the income or other options to meet the demand of this food and diet that I have recommended to you? Well, there are other availabilities. The first one is the SNAP or Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program also known as food stamps prior. And this is a program that can assist you in funding for foods that you purchase from the grocery store. And it can help you in your overall food choices. And it can also educate you on healthy eating and nutrition. Of course, there are restrictions in the use of the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program because there are some items that are excluded, such as hot foods, alcohol, or other foods like ready-to-eat foods, for example. The second option is there are some communities that have garden plots available in which a family can play, pay a fat, flat fee of $35 per season and then they can grow and benefit from anything that they grow in this patch of land over this time period. And the produce can be kept for you free of charge as long as you pay the flat fee. And that's all you have to pay. As well as local food banks. These food banks could provide you with extra options. And you can take your voucher that you may receive for going to the food bank and choose the foods that you'd like that have been donated free of charge to the food bank and you can take them home and enjoy them. Overall, protein and weight management is a big part of healthy eating and this education 
purpose was to assist you in your food choices, intake, and helping you to be successful in your weight management. Thank you.